hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a first impressions on all of the products that came in my july boxy charm box so this is what that looks like if you guys would like to see my thoughts on this month's box then of course just keep on watching okay so as you guys can tell i have nothing on my face except foundation so no blush no bronzer no powder all i have is my foundation and that's it and i have my brows applied and then for the eyes i have a matte color in the crease as my transition shade so this is going to be like i said my boxy charm like first impressions and i'm just going to use the products that came in there on my face I'm going to use the eyeshadow palette first. This is the Blink Electric Eyes palette. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna hold it like that. So it's just like a bunch of really pretty uh, metallic shades. Today I'm going to go in with the shade Focus. There you go. Um, the shade. And I'm gonna try taking it on a brush, just like a regular flat shader brush. Some need a like spray to make it a little bit more intense. Hopefully this isn't one of them, but we'll see. what it looks like I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of the eyeshadow the eyes look really really nice I'm really liking it I'm going to go ahead and go in with the powder. Um, this is the Bare Minerals Invisible Light Translucent Powder Duo. Why won't it focus? There you go. Um, there it is. This is what the outside looks like. And I'm just going to lightly tap my brush in here. I don't know why it's so hard to get the product out. And that's honestly all I want to take. I don't want to take too much because I don't know if it's going to leave like a white cast on me. So we'll see. Didn't leave me with a white cast. I feel like it set everything pretty nicely. I'm going to skip myself um, putting on like my bronzer and my blush since it's, that's not something that came in the box so I will be right back. Now that I applied the bronzer and the blush and all of that good stuff, um, I'm going to try this shade right here um, on the cheekbones. I mean, that looks really bad. Hold on. Okay, so I don't know like how well you guys can tell, but I mean, it's subtle. I don't know. I don't think I like it. It just looks too ashy on the skin. Um, I'll try it on the inner corner, but I don't know how it's going to work out for that either. I think I might like this better for the eyes just for days where I don't want that intense highlight for the eyes for the brow bone in the inner corner because I always go for a shimmery shade on those areas but I think I might like this one 
Yeah, I do like that specifically for the eyes. It really just opens them up and makes them look really bright and pretty. So yeah, I do like that. The translucent powder was also a hit. So let's go to the next product. So it's the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippy in the shade Beeper. I'm going to line the lips first. Okay, so this is what Beeper looks like. That is what the color looks like. It's just a really pretty nude shade. I like it. I don't know why, but this is drying down a lot better than some of the ColourPop lip, um, lipsticks that I already have. They're like liquid versions. I have quite a few of their Ultra Matte, and I think I have two of the Ultra Satin Lippies. Um, but I like the way that this is drying down, and this is definitely oxidizing. That's one of the first things that I'm noticing right now, is that it's oxidizing. And it's not settling into my line so far, so... Okay, so the very last thing in here, besides the brow pencil, I'm not using the brow pencil in here because as you guys can tell, I already have my brows done and I don't really have very many sparse areas in there. I will let you guys know if I end up liking this or not because I, I just have no use for it right now. I already have the brows filled in and all that good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and try this out. The Project Beauty Spray Set Go. I'm going to try out the nozzle just to see how it sprays because that's one of the biggest things. I'm going to test it out really quickly or spray it really far. A few moments later. Now that it's drying down, it's starting to like give my skin like a little stinging feeling to it. I don't like that. So I don't think I'm going to be using this. I have very, very, very sensitive skin. I have eczema as well. So I don't, I don't know if that's affecting it. Uh, my overall thoughts on these products. I did end up liking the Bare Minerals, um, the little Invisible Light Translucent Powder Duo. Um, the only thing that I don't like is that the glow is just a little bit like too ashy for me. I'm wondering if this is going to be a problem for girls that are my skin tone. The ultra matte lip, definitely something that I like. I really, really like ColourPop. Um, I will admit that their liquid lipsticks can be a little bit on the drying side, but with a little bit of lip balm, um, or even if you just apply a lip gloss on top of it, um, it'll be fine. My Blink electric eyes palette i ended up really liking this i just really like these shades in here i used vanadini this middle shade right here um i ended up using this shade on the lids and it's really really pretty i ended up really liking it so this is probably my favorite product out of the whole entire box besides the ColourPop liquid lip um, as for the brow pencil, I don't know yet how I feel about it, but from the feel of it that I got, it's very waxy, and that's something that I actually really like about brow pencils. If you guys have been, like, looking to join BoxyCharm, I highly recommend it because all of these products were over $100, um, added up, like, totaled up together, and I only ended up paying $21. A month which is really really nice you're I'm um, saving a lot of money so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any more videos from my channel I will see you in my next video bye